I welcome you to this episode of History where we are going to talk about the Uganda Kingdom. The origins specifically of Uganda Kingdom. How did the Uganda Kingdom start? When did it start? Up to where it is. Then later, we are going to see the factors that favored the growth and expansion or development of the Uganda Kingdom. When we talk about the Uganda Kingdom, this was one of the very many kingdoms, one of the intercastrian region uh, kingdoms that rose and grew immediately after the decline of the Chwezi dynasty. Because we said that after the decline of the Chwezi dynasty, different kingdoms grew. Buganda was one of those kingdoms alongside Bunyoro, alongside Ankore, alongside Toro and others that grew and expanded but in different regions. Now we are talking about the origins of the Uganda Kingdom. We need to know that these origins are based in different myths and legends. Myth and legends, or what we may call oral traditions, that what makes us know about the origin of Buganda is because of the different myths and legends or oral traditions or stories about the Buganda. Now, different theories, different myths, different legends and stories were put forward to explain the origin of Buganda. According to some oral traditions, Chindu was the first Muganda and believed to have come from the direction of Mount Ergon, from east, in other words. And when he reached Buganda, it said that he came with around 13 to 14, the present day clans in Uganda. So that's one of the theories, that the origin of Buganda starts with the coming of Chintu, who came from Eastern Uganda. However, we see that some other uh, traditions also say that Chintu is believed to have descended from heaven. However, we are considering the one of uh, coming from Eastern Uganda or Ergon areas. According to other traditions, especially the traditions in Munyoro Kingdom, the founder of Buganda was Prince Kato Chimera, who was the twin brother of the founder of Bunyoro, Prince Isingo Marukidimpuga, who was the founder of the Bito dynasty in Bunyoro. Which means that Buganda and Bunyoro, according to this theory, they were just two sister kingdoms. And how come that these two kingdoms, Buganda and Bunyoro, time came and were, were just enemy states? However, we are still talking about the origins. Other people, other origins say that when that prince Chimera, Kato Chimera, the brother of Mpuga, started or founded the Uganda kingdom, he came with five to six present day clans in Uganda. However, some other claims say that Buganda kingdom originated from the Bantu clans that migrated from Niger Basin and the Congo Basin. And they entered Uganda using the western route from Katanga province then they all of DRC and then they entered it or penetrated into Uganda and lived in areas around Lake Victoria, what we call the inter region. We need to know that this kingdom of Uganda rose and grew after the collapse of the Chwezi dynasty or the empire of Bunyoro Chitara with only three counties. The first one was Chadondo, there was Maokota, there was Lusiro. Only three in the beginning, as Uganda Kingdom was starting. In the 17th century, 
Now we see that Kabaka Katerega began her systematic expansion by annexing Gomba, Singo, Butambara, and Chagwe. We see now the Uganda that started with only three counties of Chadondo, of Maokota, and Wusiro is now expanding. During whose reign? During Kabaka Kateregaz's reign, because he started the systematic expansion of Buganda. Now, in around 1750, that was the 18th century, many migrants arrived from areas of Mount Ergon, from areas of Bunyoro, from areas of Sese Islands, and others, which increased the population in the intercastrian region by then we are talking about Uganda Kingdom. What made those people to migrate from their origin or their pregnancy? Internal conflicts, for example, in areas of Bunyoro. Remember, Bunyoro now was experiencing epidemics, floods and others. So people started moving from their pregnancy to Uganda. Buganda is expanding. Now, between 1780 and 1789, that was now the, it's still in the 18th century, where we had Kabaka Junju waged a war against Bunyoro. He attacked Bunyoro and he managed to annex or amalgamate to bring Buddu and Kochi. And remember, Buddu. This one would provide, uh, acted as a reliable source of labor. Then Kochi was rich in iron ore. It had minerals. So by Kabaka Junju annexing or amalgamating these two counties to Buganda, it meant something a lot, both economically and politically. So Uganda started growing, expanding, 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 reign after reign of one king to another. Between 1814 and 1881, Kabaka Sekamanya annexed Buwekura and Wera. He put them to Uganda. Uganda expanded. Uganda grew. Now we see that between 1831 and 1851, Kabaka Sunna finally attacked Bunyoro and crushed it head to head. We see that Buganda would attack Bunyoro indirectly or by getting Kochi, by getting one, uh, or getting Wudu. But now, what was done by Kabaka Sunna in 51 of 18, he attacked and crushed Bunyoro. Still in the same period, we see that when Kabaka Ma, uh, Mawanda came to power, he tried to annex Busoga. Now it, Bunyoro was already part of Busoga. He tried to annex, he tried to reign Busoga. Unfortunately, Kabaka Mawanda failed. However, when Kabaka Chabagu came to power, he managed to annex Busoga and finally he crushed it and Busoga came, uh, became part of who? Buganda. Buganda is growing. In the late 19th century, that's when now emperor, kingdoms like Bunyoro was coming to the standstill, Busoga was declining terribly and others. We see that Bururi, Mawokora, Bulemezi, and Bukerere were now annexed to Uganda. That is when Bunyoro and other surrounding kingdoms were declining. When Uganda was going up, others were going down. So the annexation of Bururi, Mawokora, Bulemezi, and Bukerere onto Uganda continuously and gradually led to the decline of of, of Bunyoro leading to the growth of Buganda. We are still talking about Uganda. Now, in the 1900 or 1900, the Uganda, when Uganda agreement was signed, 
Buganda was given. Also, the other two counties of Buyaka and Bugangizi from Bunyoro. Remember the Bunyoro kingdom under uh, Omukama Kabarega, he resisted. Bunyoro resisted the colonial rule. Bunyoro resisted the imperialism of the British. And when the Banyoro resisted, what the British did was to use force. They attacked Bunyoro. They crushed Bunyoro with the help of the Baganda because the Baganda had collaborated. So when the Baganda, with the help of the British, remember the British gave them guns, the British gave them all the weapons and the financial assistance they needed. Ha! The Baganda attacked and crushed the Banyoro. When they crushed the Banyoro, Bunyoro now had those two, uh, uh, the two counties of Bugangizi and Buyaga. In, as a sign of appreciation, the British said, ah, you can take those ones. Because the British would also decide to give the two states to another, uh, to another, maybe another kingdom. But they gave, they let Uganda to take the Buyaga and Bugangizi because it was a sign of appreciation for having collaborated with them. By doing so, Buganda is growing. When we talk about Oregon, we mean from nothing to something, from grass to grass, from nowhere to somewhere, the origin of Buganda. Later, we see that the Buganda kingdom stretched her territories from Lake Arbat in the west, then to the, to, the, to the east, it would go up to River Nile. Then it would go up to northern Tanzania, northern Tanganyika by then in the south. Quite big. So Uganda grew from nowhere with just three counties up to very many counties as we have broken them down. That was the origin of Uganda. Remember, Buganda was located astride the equator where we have uh, the good climate conditions with heavy rainfall, with, uh, with the hot temperatures that would support agriculture. Now, Buganda was also located in the fertile land that would encourage the growing of bananas, that would encourage the growing of yams, that would encourage the growing of millet, hence providing food to the population. This also made the kingdom of Buganda to grow. On top of that, Buganda had capable and strong leaders, era after era, reign after reign, that helped Buganda, that administered Buganda, that ruled and led Buganda effectively and efficiently, leading to its growth up to its zenith. Leaders of Kabakas like Suna, Kabaka Junju, Kabase, Kabaka Sekamanya, and others, all those played a tremendous role as far as the growing and the expansion of Buganda Kingdom was concerned. We cannot forget to talk about the, the, the weakness of the neighboring states. All the way from the decline of the Chesi dynasty, the decline or the weakening of Bunyoro, the weakening of Busoga and others and their conquered states or the vassal states. All those gave Buganda the right hand to rise and grow and expand. Those were the origins of the Buganda kingdom from something with only three states to something a very big kingdom. Thank you for watching. Let us meet in the next episode. Endeavor to subscribe to our YouTube channel that is Standard High School Zana. Just go subscribe and hit the bell so that you can get all the episodes time after time. Thank you.